The author and journalist Neil Linden examined this statement. The figure was invented as follows. In 1990, the Metropolitan Police said it received reporting incidents of domestic violence. That figure said the police was They took figures from two poverty-stricken boroughs, and poverty is one of the major causes of domestic violence, and extrapolated those figures across the whole of London. That's like standing in the Bishop's Avenue in London, one of the richest roads in Britain, and saying that because the average house on this road costs £5 million, then the average house in London costs £5 million. In 2005, the London borough of Camden had 22 murders, but Kenston and Chelsea had only four. Would the police choose to extrapolate the Camden figures across London, and state that about 22 murders occur in each borough every year? Of course not. That statement would not only be inflated and plain wrong, but would also reflect rather badly on them. But for domestic violence, and only for domestic violence, they do generalise from the worst areas. Of these 25,000 calls, how many would you guess involved the same individuals more than once? How many complaints were of the threat rather than the reality of violence? How many incidents were reported by men living with women? You'd have to guess the answers to these questions, because the facts are hard to find. For instance, Scotland Yard acknowledges that If they're unquantifiable, why are the figures so frequently used in domestic violence campaigns as separate calls made by women against men? At the same time as this, the feminist criminologist Susan Edwards wrote This woman had taken the police figure and more than doubled it. Sandra Hawley director of the Chiswick Family Refuge and one of Britain's leading experts on domestic violence, went higher. She wrote, So Hawley saw fit to double Susan Edwards' figure, which was double the police figure, which was itself a poor guess. Rosalind Miles, bless her, then took Hawley's figure even further. In her book, The Rights of Man, published in 1991, she wrote, Wow, so we've jumped, as if by magic, from about 25,000 phone calls per year to 100,000 women in hospital per year due to domestic violence. In London alone. That is some feat of Chinese whispers. So where do these massive hospital treatment figures come from? When Rosalind Miles was telephoned by Neil Linden to ask where she'd got the figure from, she said at first that she couldn't remember. And when she was asked to comment on the discrepancy between her figure and those from the Home Office, she terminated the interview because... These figures are groundless, yet they're published anyway. Like this one from Haringey's People magazine. Excuse me? A massive mother killer. I looked at the mortality figures for the UK. The government tells us that two women a week are killed due to domestic violence. But 350 women a week die from pneumonia. If only 1% of these women are mothers, that's still 3 or 4 per week. And that's just pneumonia let alone the hundreds of other conditions and diseases and accidents that account for 5,000 female deaths a week in the UK. This article is worse than wrong. It's a lie. I emailed the woman that wrote this article to ask her where she got this shocking information from, but she didn't reply. Her name's Deirdre Cregan, and she's a domestic violence coordinator for Haringey Council. There's no possible justification for a domestic violence coordinator in Haringey, or anywhere else for that matter. It's a position conjured from false statistics and has no actual value. Yet the residents of Haringey in London are forced to pay for her salary and fund her pension, pay for her holidays and her staff, so that she can coordinate the huge problem of domestic violence in Haringey. A huge problem that doesn't actually exist.